More than 150 of the ambulances to be commissioned and distributed tomorrow, January 28, will begin operations right after the ceremony. Health Minister Kwekwaji Manmenu, who disclosed this in an exclusive interview with TV3, expressed government's determination to improve healthcare and emer emergency healthcare in the country. The 307 ambulances were procured in 2019 to boost emergency health care services in Ghana. I believe that emergency preparedness, though, is not as strong as we can get from CDs in America. But along the West Coast, I think we are up well, I mean, well, with our game. So Ghanaians shouldn't lose confidence in our system. The initiative, which is in fulfillment of government's pre-election promise in 2016 to boost emergency health care delivery in the country, will see the distribution of the ambulances to all 275 constituencies. The ambulances are to be equipped with digitized ICT system, tracking devices and labeling. In all, 450 emergency medical technician EMT drivers out of the 575 recruited have been trained to man the ambulances. I've been to the site and it looks like we are ready to actually roll out to all the constituencies as was promised by the president. The few little things that we we're doing before that seems to have been ready now. And I think by 28, we might have completed all necessary things. We have invited all our drivers in the stations across the country and added more to new stations where we send the ambulances. So on the 28th, you will see not more than about 50% getting to the entire 100% going to the constituencies where they belong. The Minister of Health, Kweku Ajaman Menu, says all is set for the commissioning and distribution of the ambulances tomorrow. All right, let's stay on this subject matter a while longer because that seemed to be good news for almost all of us uh, about the fact that the ambulances will be commissioned tomorrow and released. We've been joined in studio by Deputy Secretary uh, General of the Ghana Red Cross Society, uh, Dr. Eric Asamoah Dakun. Good evening, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, brother. When um, the authorities asked for an extension of the day of commissioning, we spoke to you and how that would affect your, your already um, struggling business of helping people. With the news coming in that tomorrow, at least, almost all of them will be released, how does this news come to you? Thank you, my brother. I think it's a good news yeah. for Ghana Red Cross and Ghana as a whole. Um, like I, I, I spoke with you some time ago. I said we were not very comfortable for the delay, however, since the technical team had raised an alarm, I, I pleaded with Ghanaian to exercise patience, and I had a feeling that it was going to uh, be released. And thank God, um, tomorrow, we're going to have about 150 of them oh. released and distributed to the various constituencies. Yeah. Do you use ambulance yourself on a daily? That's the Red Cross Society. Do you have ambulances that you use? And how is this, the release of this going to complement the job you do? What we do, uh, Ghana Red Cross, is to collaborate with National Ambulance Service. Okay. So whatever we do, we try to liaise with them, uh, call them for their support. So Ghana Red Cross, as, as a body, we don't run ambulance. We do collaboration with ambulance service for the day-to-day -day work that we do. And uh, through this entire business of government trying to secure, procure these ambulances and the distribution, have you collaborated with them and how does that, how has that worked out? Yes, we have. Just that with challenges. I uh, realized that we didn't have enough in the system. And uh, Ghana Red Cross with the National Road Safety built some first aid posts in the accident prone areas that needed ambulances uh, to work with. Unfortunately, because we didn't have enough, um, we didn't get even one to any of the posts. But thank God, what has come? And we're going to have ambulances in all the health posts, and that's really going to help us in our delivery, yeah. And uh, if, you, if you want to put numbers to it, how many do you think, how many posts do you already have, and which parts of the country are they? And then, in terms of, uh, still on that, how many ambulances do you think that uh, in the interim you will be needing to work with? Yeah, currently we have nine posts that we are running. Uh, we have three on the Aplao Road. We have two at Kipus Road. And we have four at Kumasi Road. 
So and these are the deliberately selected areas which are usually accident prone. Exactly, okay. exactly. We live with the highways authority. They give us the, the areas that we should. In fact, we have a lot. Just that we are piloting this one and see how successful it's going to be mm. and see how to scale it up to other regions. And, and we know that the ambulances are supposed to be for um, first aid, immediate service, helping stabilize uh, the, 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 the victims before transporting them. With the location of these areas, um, this health post you're talking about, what's the distance between them and major health facilities in case you have emergencies? Fortunately, none of them, uh, apart from Nopoku, that is a bit distant. Uh, the rest are having close um, hospitals, so I think it is not going to affect us at all. And um, even with Nopoku, it's not that far when you go to K2 South uh, Hospital. So I think uh, strategically, it's been positioned in such a way that it doesn't spend my time to get people to that scene. Okay. Yeah. Well, government itself has given indications that these are just more like a first phase of it. So definitely in the, in the coming years, they are looking at procuring more ambulances. And um, we also would have to wish you all the best. At least you've been part of the campaign to get these ambulances out there. We're all hopeful that tomorrow, by this time, uh, almost all the constituencies closer to the greater Accra region at least would have the ambulances then those further up would also have this within 24 hours uh, thank you very much uh, dr eric asamoa da who is a deputy general secretary of the ghana red cross society before we let him go though i mean you know that uh, there's been a major international uh, conversation on the coronavirus and uh, as uh, the ghana red cross society i'm sure this has come to your attention on the global scale locally what are the, some of the plans you are putting in place to assist the Ghana Health Service for that matter? I think, uh, like I said, globally, it's really a concern to us. And the uh, country, Ghana, is equally a challenge and a concern. What we seek to do is to educate the public on the, what is it about, what are signs and symptoms, and the preventive method. These are the areas that we across currently mobilizing resources to mm -hmm. get people trained and go in there as a social mobilization exercise to educate the public. Mm -hmm. And I think that that will go a long way uh, for people to know the signs and they prevent themselves. This, yeah. this campaign, I believe, has already started. Yes. We have started recruiting, identify the... You see, uh, yes, it is, the virus is not currently in Ghana, mm -hmm. but yet we need, to, we need to educate the public for exactly. them to know. So we are not so much in a rush. We're, what we're doing now is to identify the community members and see how best we get fans to train them uh, to, to deploy them for the exercise. Oh, yeah. Okay. We would uh, certainly be talking to you in the coming days uh, regarding other major health issues. Uh, Dr. Eric Asamoah, Deputy General Secretary of the Ghana Red Cross um, uh, Society.